What's going on, people? It's Zeta Black here. Salute to everybody that is tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I want to talk about Olivia Munn and also why she shows why women are very unhappy, no matter if they're attractive, no matter if they are successful, no matter if they're in relationships as you you know as we speak. There's still something missing. You know, there's still something missing. And we're going to talk about in this video. Um, so she's a catalyst, but it's going to be to an overall point because I wanted to speak, wanted to speak on why women are so unhappy. Now, I know some people ask me, why do I do videos where I'm basically speaking on female nature? It's, it's nothing new. I've been doing that. You know, I've been doing that. I just don't do it as frequently. But there are times that when I see what Olivia Munn said in her behaviors and in the men that she's dated, and I'm going to speak on why she finds herself in the situation that she's in. Now, she made some comments courtesy of the Daily Mail, right? Now, we know, now for those who don't know, I remember Olivia Munn when she was a part of G4 uh, TV. I don't know if any of y'all remember, it was a TV network. Uh, and they had a it was it was basically dedicated to video games. Um, they had Attack of the Show, they had X Play. I used to watch those shows every day, every day I was watching because I was a big a video game nerd. You know, I mean not well. I, I mean, I would say I was more of a video game nerd back then. I say between 2006 and 2012, 13. That's that's when the show's uh, time period. But after I think 2013, I think their the network folded or they merged with another network, and those shows sort of went away. <clears throat> but um, I remember that network because they would always play. I remember this. They did like a, uh, they would always play. Um, it was it was almost a network for guys for the most part, you know what I'm saying? And guys who like video games, because they would always play Fight Club. Especially towards the end of the year, going to the new year. I always remember that. But anyway. Now, Olivia Munn, when I first saw her on uh, Attack of the Show, I said, you know what? It wouldn't surprise me at all if she goes on to do movies or TV shows. And I was right. Because you could see it. You know, she had the look. She had the, the personality. Um, so she could do comedy. You could even put her maybe in some drama. Who knows? But now Olivia Munn, she's been in the industry. She's dated in the industry. She recently dated Aaron Rodgers uh, for three years. And she made some comments all right, about how basically a previous relationship left her feeling worthless. All right. Now, she made these comments via the Daily Mail. She said we had been. Now, she didn't name the guy she was with. But we all know it was Aaron Rodgers. Come on. We had been in calm waters for a long time. It's always calm waters. And then all of a sudden the boat capsized, she recalled. I think a lot of women and men who are in relationships are like this where, you know, we're just walking on eggshells and just happy anytime. It's just like you can breathe a little bit. Even though you don't realize that you have, you know, a cinder block on your chest the whole time. You're taking in little sips of air. Olivia explained, uh, Olivia continued to explain that even when her and her partner called it quits, she was still struggling to find her peace. When it capsized, I was still in an emotional place that I had been in for those years, which wasn't a good place. And then when you do go through something like that, you do truly feel worthless. Let me just say this. I think that the reason why I think she's talking about Aaron Rodgers is because after they broke up, she was salty. She had made, I think she made some comments in reference to Aaron Rodgers who had already moved on to, I believe, Danica Patrick. So she was salty. So I know she's talking about Aaron Rodgers. I know she's talking about Aaron Rodgers, you know, quarterback for the, uh, for the Green Bay Packers. I know she's talking about him. Okay. And I think the reason why she felt worthless. Is because. 
she knew that he could go and get another woman who looked similar to her, if not better than her. And, you know, when, when you have a guy who works a lot or who puts his focus into his craft, he's not putting his focus into you. And when he moves on like it's nothing and you're still there, still in love with the guy. And you realize that he didn't love you as much as you thought he did. I think that's why she felt empty. But you got but she has to understand when you date men who get attention from other women. And this is what I, I this is what keeps women unhappy. You date men who have other women on standby, who can basically have a, a ton of women always trying to get at them. So when he leaves that relationship and doesn't look back, of course, you're going to feel worthless. You're going to feel like he was with you. He got bored with you and then he moved on, which is why I think a lot of these women feel. Why do you think these women who have children with guys will uh, use that situation in order to get back at the dude as far as putting him on child support, fighting his new girlfriends, uh, messing up his property? getting into arguments with him, going on social media, putting him on blast. It is because she feels worthless because she knows he's off with other women and not caring about her. She feels like she invested a lot in him and didn't get anything back in return. But that is the choices you make when you try to date dudes who are basically community dizzy. You got women who date men who are community dizzy and they wonder why those relationships fail because you're dating community Dizzik, okay? Mun also admitted that she will never get married or have children. And she also mentioned that the missing piece that she needed in her life was a vibrator, which, which is in itself just shows y'all that you know maybe being single and having a vibrator is the right choice for a lot of women. You know, because you got women that want a relationship, they get the relationship and then it falls apart immediately because she's not ready to be under no lock and key with no man. You get the marriage you want, then you realize, oh, I'd rather be single. I like going out on the weekends. I don't like to be told what to do. I don't like no man telling me how to live my life. I'm independent. These are the comments she made. <laughs> Questioning what a guy can bring to the table, she said her vibrator completes the missing piece in the puzzle. So she's saying that pretty much the only thing a man can bring to her in a relationship is a is a is a is a dizzic. And and again, Olivia Munn is a woman who's successful, she makes her own money. Um so to her, a man doesn't have to have, you know, a lot of money. If he has good dizzic, she's good with that. A, a good a good dizzic and a dream that's all 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 he needs all the dude needs for most of these chicks seem like is good dizzic and a dream you know that he done sold her okay you know they make great vibrators and a lot of them are usb charged now she quipped you don't have to scramble around for the batteries <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. I'm telling you, Olivia Munn is speaking for a lot of women. I'm telling you, they're in that situation too. Now, I believe Olivia Munn is in a relationship now. She's in a relationship. So I'm wondering what is this guy bringing to the table? Because basically, she admitted in an interview that she don't really need nothing from a man. You know, she swallowed that, that feminist rhetoric, you know. These are the type of women who will date a Pookie and Ray Ray, who will date a guy who literally brings nothing to the table, nothing. You know, all he can tell you is, uh, you know, his stories from being in the streets. That's all he can do. But he's not really going to bring her what she wants, because trust and believe. Women want what other women want. If a woman sees a woman with a man who's successful, they want a man like that. But then when they get a man like that, they feel like he's. You know, being too, you know, um, imposing on their life, you know, but she did mention how she doesn't want to get married or have children. Um, there's a photo of her where she says well, she has a T-shirt that says, I just want to be a stay at home dog mom. Women, especially women with this feminist ideology, most modern day, especially Caucasian women care more about having pets as kids than regular kids this is why you have a certain group of people support aborting their children 
because they don't want either they can't have them or they don't want to have them. Their pets are are basically their seeds, and they care more about that than actually bringing life into the world, which is sad. But that is what happens when roles start to reverse and women start to buy in to the to the rhetoric that is going on in the media that tells them that they need to defy men and they need to uh you know be more feminist you know be more about women's rights when women have more rights than they've ever had before you know you got women that try to make excuses for feminism and saying it's a good thing the only good thing feminism did was allow women who may be single mothers to be able to uh, get jobs and support themselves to go to school to be able to do that I have no issue with women working as long as they're working you know as long as you know I, as long as they're working and they're helping people because you know I've been places where you know women work and they don't want to help you do anything okay but you know that's good I have no issue with that voting I have no issue with that well, well some other people may have an issue with that but listen you can do whatever man can do if a man is working a job and you feel like you want to get paid as equal as him just do the same amount of work if not more you know and I feel like Olivia Munn encapsulates the mindset of most of these millennial women of today okay most of these millennial women today are having less children and their relationships are failing even worse because they don't know what a good man is. They really don't care about that. They just want somebody to fill the void. And as long as women have their vibrators, maybe that's what's filling the void. As long as they have a dude that can provide for them, <laughs> you know, the type of a release that they need, they're cool with that. You know, but don't be getting on social media talking about how you want this in a man and that in a man and having all these discussions about the type of men you're looking for. We all know that you're looking for Mr. Perfect and you know good and well you'll never find that because your life is content. You just won't admit it outwardly, but inwardly, you know that you're content where your life is, but you want the perception of everybody else to think that you're not when you actually are.